Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a half case break of 2024 Topps Museum Collection Baseball. Pick your team number nine, half case from a fresh case. A lot of great stuff in museum collection. Very big thanks to this group for making it happen. You can see some of the teams were pulled for that random number block. We did that in a different video. So before I pulled all the teams, last spot Mojo went to Alejandro with the Cardinals. Thanks so everybody else. Thanks everyone for getting in. We've got the results of the random number block right here. We uploaded this in a separate video. Remember, there will be non-numbered cards for this group, including rookie cards, right? So what, what we're going to do at the end of the break, we're going to gather all those non-numbered base cards into one lot, and uh, one person right here will get them. All the hits are, are numbered, so that's that won't be an issue. And it's usually in the... Cases happen sometime in the future. I think if they were non-numbered hits, I generally would separate those out. Not too many breaks where that, where that happens. Usually if we know that there's a lot of non-numbered hits, we'll be generally opt for a different kind of filler. <clears throat> All right. So we've got the left side, six on the left side, six on the right side. We're going to roll the die. We'll go one, two, three for that side and four, five, six for this side. And it's six. We'll do the right side here and we'll save this for break 10. Pick a team 10. So we just No, that doesn't look like a 10, but that's a 10. That's the second half of the case. Uh, we might have an outside chance of getting this done tonight. We're almost halfway there. If we get that close, if we get that second half closer to single digits, then we can um, we can bundle up the rest of the teams into a random number block, which actually went kind of quick. Love the museum collection. I have not seen, I feel like I've not seen too many one of ones in the museum collection. I've not seen for a while now, for our breaks anyway, I'm pretty sure that there are actual sketch cards. Like we see the reproductions, almost one per box, but they're the actual one of one sketch cards with the with actual sketching. I don't think I've seen, I've, I don't think I've seen one of those yet. I'm pretty sure they're in this year, they traditionally are. Oh man, I love the pug. <laughs> They're going to set a pug record? Alright, Shane Singh, you've seen three one of ones pulled from museums so far on live streams. Here's uh, Jason Dominguez to 150, and a Jordan Lawler to 199. Maybe, maybe Shane, you're gonna see uh, C4. Uh, so the Jordan Lawler will go to Charles, and who has the Yankees? That will be Matt with the Yankees. There, there's the there's the reproduction, right? 
we we'll try to see if we can find an actual one of these would be pretty awesome. And here is Reggie Jackson, 89 out of 99. Three pieces of the lumber, piece of the jersey, the straw that stirs the drink for Matt. Oh, the artist, they don't, they don't say artist proof on the front, because usually they do, like, like that. But I guess not with these, but all cards ship. Check the backs of your, your sketch reproductions, ladies and gentlemen. So this is Willie Mays, 38 out of 50 for the Giants. That'll be for Giants number eight. And here is Jordan Westberg, 11 out of 299 for the Orioles. That's also a random number block team. So if you're not familiar with how this works, We go by that digit right there. So that'll go to number one, and that'll be for Loren with number one. So that'll go to number eight, Giant San Francisco eight, and that will be for, for Loren as well with the extra spot. Loren, Loren, Loren. Uh, here is a piece of Larry Walker's bat, meaningful material, five out of 35. It'll be for Colorado. It's going to be for Joshua and the Rocks. Yeah, it would be awesome if we got, got a one of one. And there's Trevor Hoffman. Brewers edition of Trevor Hoffman. 97 out of 99. Brewers are a random number block team. And that's going to be for Milwaukee 7. And that'll be for Matt. All right, next box. Andy's saying we're due a big Yankees hit. That, Matt's got the Yankees. I'm sure he wouldn't mind that. Yeah, Nate's saying Trevor Hoffman, one of the most underrated pitchers ever. He's a Hall of Famer, though. He got rated pretty well. But I guess, yeah. When people talk about closers and stuff, I feel like he's not often the first name that comes out of people's mouths, but he was, he was pretty amazing. Just two pitches. Just a fastball and a changeup. And even when his velocity went down, like, he was able to, you know, I guess... Same same arm slot, same angle, same everything. It looked exactly the same. And there was just enough mileage difference where where you'd, you'd get tripped up. Dot that ball anywhere. All right, there's Christian Yelich, 35 out of 99. That's going to be for Brewers 5. Shota will go to Charles. Wade Boggs will go to Jonathan and the Red Sox, 44 out of 50. And the Jackson Merrill rookie card will go to Cassandra and the Padres. And here's a triple relic and autograph, Marcus Simeon, 13 out of 50 for the Rangers. Dustin has Texas.
And Griffey Jr. reveals a quad relic Julio Rodriguez, 31 out of 99. And that is Seattle's a random number block team, so that'll be for Seattle. What was the number again? Seattle 1. That's going to be for Lauren. So there's the Ellie Della Cruz. So that's going to represent the non numbered base cards for the 12 teams. And behind him, Gavin Williams. 178 out of 299. And Tony Oliva reveals a Adalas Garcia, 72 out of 99. Piece of the lumber for Dustin and the Rangers. The Mariners got that giant trident that they have in the dugout. Where does that come from? It must be a custom job. Who's making tridents? Is there a trident guy in Seattle? Yeah, it's kind of cool. A big, big trident. Bo Bichette to 199. That'll be for Eric Leal and the Bluebirds. All right, your hits. Here is Freddie. Freddie. 27 out of 49. Freddie Freeman. Two color quad relic. You got the road grays, home lights. And this is for the Dodgers. Dodgers, seven. And that's for, that's for Matt. Matt Lieber with number seven. Here is Nestor Cortez, 84 out of 299 for Matt and the Yankees. Kind of wrinkly in the penny sleeve here, but that, that crease is the penny sleeve. I don't know why these... Be someone in the dugout that represents 
Major League Baseball, slap the hologram sticker on there. All right, there is Bryson Stott, 27 out of 49. Phillies, Rob with the Fightings. And there is Paul Molitor, 26 out of 50. Old school Brewer, that's going to be a random number block team. And that's going to be for Milwaukee 6. Matt with number 6. All right, halfway through this half case break. Second half in the store. And a number of breaks very close to filling, ladies and gentlemen. So we can end this uh, end this evening on a very strong note. People were doing work in the first half. We should be able to get a lot of breaks across the finish line in the second half. Check the break schedule. You'll see what's coming up. And uh, you'll see the spots left numbers on some of those fillers. Obviously. I'll update that number if after this break. See a few orders coming in. Or you can just go to the website, jazbeescasebreaks.com and see the latest updated number in the spots left area. That's uh, Mike Schmidt, 150. Jackson Churio, Bogsy. So uh, again, Brewers are a random number block team, so this will be a part of that, that random number block randomizer. I'm gonna randomize all those names. Name on top will get a stack of non-numbered cards. This will include this Jung Hoo Lee as well. All right, behind Roy Campanella is Cody Bellinger, 18 out of 99. It's going to go to Charles and the Cubs. Here we got Evan Carter, rookie auto. Uh, I don't like There's that little indent right there, which is from the manufacturing process, 250 out of 299. Sometimes it catches like that. But Dustin, that Evan Carter rookie auto going for you, going to you. It's Will the Thrill featuring a quad relic, another randomizer. These are all outfielders, right? Yeah, Mike Trout, Mookie Betts, Ronald Acuna Jr., Fernando Tatis Jr. That's a cool looking card, four color quad relic. It's a sharp looking card. Angels are a number block team. Dodgers are a random number block team. So is Atlanta. And Cassandra with the Padres. So random number block four. Lauren, you're involved in it. So we'll randomize the four teams. We'll make one person happy, one person set. And there's Cal Raleigh, 58 out of 299. We just watched Sunday Night Baseball. Cal Raleigh's being interviewed. He had two homers tonight. Tenth career multi-homer game.
And Seattle is a random number block team, so that'll go to Seattle 8. And that's Lauren with Seattle 8. The big dumper. And if that, if that hitting is half as good as the Mariners pitching, that's a team you probably wouldn't want to face in the playoffs. here. All right, onwards. Yeah, they call him the big dumper. Is that right? His teammates name him that because he hits a lot of tanks. Just dumping balls into the seats. I thought it was on the account of his... Uh, on the account of his large backside. Or maybe maybe that wasn't it. Oh, they're going to talk about it right now. So Logano gets bumped out of the way. Oh, he's not going to be happy about that. Bumps another guy. Who is that? Bumps Denny Hamlin out of the way? Mm, I don't know. Those drivers aren't going to be happy. Gets one, bumps one guy out of the way, bumps Denny Hamlin out of the way, and hits the checkered flag. And that's awesome, Dylan. Unhappy. Matt with the Yankees and Jackson Holiday, non numbered. And there's Jung Hoo Lee, 68 out of 150. That'll be for uh, Giants 8. It's going to be for Lauren. Justin Verlander to 99. Logano's not happy. Jason with the Astros. Oh, did you look it up? Jonathan said it is because of his big butt. He's got a big dumper. Your Sonny Gray, 12 out of 25. Yeah, I mean, if you're a catcher, you're crouching down you're getting up getting down I'll, I'll bet you you work you activate the glutes get those glutes activated there's Sonny Gray that's for Alejandro and the Cardinals last spot mojo there is uh, George Brett one out of 20 quad relic Royals Michael Arzarania reveals a Christopher Morell, 2 out of 50. 
dual relic and autograph. This comes up short, yet he even makes seven. He needs to make that putt for triple. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, he was leading the oh, wow. That's right, Nick. Oh, that lips out. Jeez. Poor guy. Pressure. Wow, Aaron Rye wins it. Well, two gloves. I would love to see some big dumper inscriptions. He accepts the nickname. You talked about it on Sports Center just right now on the post. All right, let's see what we've got in the last box. Good luck, everybody. Second half in the store now, jazbeescasebreaks.com. If we get it close to single digits, you know, we can bundle up the rest of the teams into a random number block like we did with this one. This one sold out pretty quickly, so maybe we can do the same with the second one. Yeah, and if you, if you notice that... Uh, a team didn't have any hits this half. You know, how many times have we seen them show up in the second half? More often than not, I would I would say. All right, what do we got here? We got Buster Posey, 175 out of 199 for the Giants. That'll be for Giants 5. That'll be for Matt. And let's just go from left to right. There's Stan the Man Musial. Reveals a Cal Ripken 6 out of 10. Baltimore 6. That's for Matt. Nice low number relic. Right, good eye, Andy. No frame yet, so that must be in the second half as well. It's Clayton Kershaw right here. He's going to be making a start tomorrow. And Corbin Burns, 183 out of 299. Brewers edition. Brewers. Brewers 3. That's for Corey. On the board, Corey. Brewers 3. There's Wyatt Langford for the Rangers. That'll be for Dustin. And a quad relic, two player quad relic. David Ortiz, Big Boppy, and Laser Show, Dustin Pedroia, 4 out of 99. JK. Ooh, nice. Is it on the way? Has they, have, have they told you it's on the way? All right, and the final hit is going to be 2 out of 15, momentous material, Jordan Alvarez. Jason with the Astros. Good finish here. Entered the code yesterday. Yeah, can't wait to see that. All right. Got to make some people happy. Got to make some people sad. Um, that's part of the job. Let's, uh, let's flip. It's a tough one here, folks. Let's flip back over here. First of all, let's see who's going to get those non-numbered cards. And then the quad relic was between the Angels, Dodgers, Braves, and Padres. One dice roll for both lists. We're going to randomize each list 11 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
And 11th and final time, Corey. You're gonna get, uh, after 11, you're gonna get all the non-numbered cards for that big group of teams right there, the 12 teams, including non-numbered rookie cards like the Jackson Holiday, the Jung Hoo Lee, Jackson Churio, Ellie De La Cruz, not that, among others that I may have missed earlier on, but those were the main rookies. All right, congrats, Corey. Thanks for getting in. Six into five, 11 times for this quad relic. Team on top after 11. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleventh and final time. It's gonna go to the Angels. Angels are a random number block team. So that goes to Angels four. Angels number four for Lauren. And apologies to, uh, I think it was Cassandra at the Padres. But congrats to Lauren. Nice. Nice break, ladies and gentlemen. Love this museum collection. Thanks, everybody, for getting in. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. May as well do. It's kind of sort of a longer break. I'll, I'll hit you with a quick little recap right here. A lot of great hits, on-card stuff, some stickers, some nice relics, old-school guys, new-school guys. You know, game used mem. Always like to see that. So a lot of great stuff. No frame yet. That's usually a case hit, so it should be in the second half. Jazzpiececasebreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next one.